Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review the Netflix series Uncoupled, which unfortunately just got cancelled after its first season, but at least we got one. And this series focuses on Neil Patrick Harris's Michael, who is a realtor in the city who winds up being left after 17 years by his partner, played by Tuck Watkins, and he is trying to deal with this, get back into dating, having his friends Stanley and Billy, played by Brooks Asherman Cox and Emerson Brooks, and then his partner at work, Suzanne, played by Tisha Campbell, and he develops this interesting dynamic with one of his new high society clients played by Marsha Gay Harden and you have this whole entire series over the course of eight episodes half hour piece so like about four hours of television and it's about a lot of different things dealing with you know a breakup is the biggest thing you deal with being middle-aged and being out of your element in the current dating world and we get to see a little bit of that as Michael goes on certain dates and learns new practices and realize that maybe I'm not ready for all this and trying to balance that all out now I think Neil Patrick Harris is great he's great in this show he brings a lot of personality to Michael we could get behind him we could see his faults we could see where he's hurting and we have that I do think that this series over the course of the episodes gets more interesting when it's more of a balance with him and some of his other co-stars where we get a little bit more of them like Tisha Campbell I love her in this show she brings a lot of personality and vulnerability and confidence to Suzanne and when we get to see a little bit of more of her I really appreciate that you have Marsha Gay Harden who in many ways is like this big stereotype, but Harden does such a great job bringing her to life, and we get a little bit more of her as the series goes on, and especially his friends Stanley and Billy, who we get a lot more of in the last couple episodes, and when it becomes more of that group dynamic, I think the show becomes more interesting. It does still lean into a lot of tropes and a lot of familiar beats that, you know, we've seen coming, and a lot of the characters that come in and out are a bit one-dimensional and stock characters and they might rush a lot of the little storylines that Michael's dealing with. It feels like each episode they deal with a relationship that could have really played out over the course of episodes and or season and we get it crammed into a 30-minute episode with other stuff just to be like, hey, we got that episode in to deal with that thing. But in many ways this show which is created by Darren Starr, who made Sex in the City, and now Emily in Paris, and a lot of other shows, he is taking that formula, bringing it into this new context, into, like, middle-aged gay community, and I do feel like the f series does a good job of bringing in those kinds of elements. It does feel, feel a little familiar in many ways in terms of the beats, but I do think the cast is the real stars here, Neil Patrick Harris, I really enjoyed Tuck Watkins as his former partner, who for many episodes is more of a specter causing Michael anxiety, but it's still a character that we get to see in quite a few episodes, and I think he does a really good job. The last episode brings in a lot, and you're sitting there like, now I'm intrigued about all of your storylines moving forward, and then, you know, not going to get it. Um, but I do really like this series. I appreciated the eight episodes. I wish, you know, we get a little bit more of a satisfying ending, but, you know, that's television, baby. It's a cutthroat world, especially at Netflix. But I think this is worth a watch. It's enjoyable. It's an easy watch. It's only eight episodes, 30 minutes a piece, so you'll be through it quick, but it'll have some fun along the way. But those are my thoughts on Uncoupled Season 1. Let me know what you think and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.